All right, everybody. <clears throat> Today is the day that I finish up the project on the booger. Uh, as you can see right here, I got some paint going on these bars. Uh, it is a really cool color. It's a fluorescent green from Krylon, but it is the worst paint to use because it's like translucent. It comes out real thin and runny. So I'm having a heck of a time painting this thing. Plus, my son yesterday decided to grab hold of it with both hands while it was wet and just took a big chunk of the paint off. So, working on that today, I'm also going to install a headlight on it. It won't be powered yet because I don't really know what kind of battery source we're going to use. But that and we're going to bypass the governor on the engine and this thing should be done once we get these painted and mounted again. Alright, so the first thing we're going to work on here is going to be removing or bypassing the governor on this. So what we need to do first to get to the governor and this linkage is just take this tank off, which I've already done. Well, I've loosened the bolts. Uh, it's got two 10 millimeters down here, one eight millimeter back here that holds the tank, the tank in. And we just need to get that up out of the way. All right, so we're gonna pop this guy off get him out of the way yeah that's a squeeze okay so all right first thing we gotta do is we gotta take this arm off Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hook the throttle directly to this arm. So I might drill like two or three holes in it or something, but we basically, we need to make it so that this arm can come up through here. So we're gonna have to bend this little rod. So we got our mark right there. We gotta take this out and bend it. Linkage is out of the way. Now we can pop this out of here. And I need to bend this where I made the mark straight up. We're gonna do that on the side. All right, so there it is. Here's my little 90. I can trim this off after I kind of get it more tested. Not a hundred percent. So now we got three different holes on here, so you can kind of adjust. I'm going to put it in the middle for now, but you can adjust the way the throttle feels. Further out on the arm, I believe, is the easier the throttle pull will be. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's test it out. It returns perfectly. All right, so let me get you guys a real close up look at this. It's pretty simple. All right, so all we did was take this rod that was already in here, but it was connected to the governor. We drilled some holes in the arm. We could drill even more to try and adjust it more, but this seems to be perfect right here. Uh, it closes all the way, it opens all the way. <clears throat> All right, so the next thing I want to address on this bike is the turning. Uh, it, those uh, triple trees hit the frame before you really get a lot of turning out of it. Now, there's not a ton we can do about that, but what I am going to do is I got this short lock nut 
for down here, which gives me a little bit of space because it had this big one on there. And I'm gonna put a couple of washers, not only on this top here to space it up to give us a little more turning, but also on the bottom because the bottom is gonna hit as well. So in order to do that, I need to loosen up this part to create some space, which is gonna take away a tiny bit of travel, but I think it's more important to have more steering in it. So that's what's next. thing I want to address on this bike is the front end. Uh, it's kind of plain. There's this big gap here, you know, between the forks. It needs something. I kind of thought maybe like a number plate, but what it really needs is a headlight. So I'm kind of hesitant to mount it permanently until I get the handlebars on there, but I could mount it here super easily. And uh, I think I'm going to do that to start with, see how that looks. But if that doesn't look good, I'll probably put it just right down here, right in the middle probably. We'll see. All right, so these forks have this little bracket right there and the light came with this bracket. So I took this bolt and I flattened the sides of the washer so it would fit between those two little, two little protrusions there. And we'll get this thing on and see how it looks. All right, well, that's done for now. We'll see how it looks with the bars on there.
bike is done here it is new handlebars painted up they look pretty sweet they're very comfortable uh, what else governor delete is done front and rear fenders the headlights not hooked up yet but it's in the perfect spot i think uh, chain guard that was a big one that turned out awesome i did some other stuff too like the washers under the under the uh, triple trees and i had to make these axle adjusters for it and uh, some jack shaft stuff took care of some maintenance items but yeah it's ready to ride i'm gonna take you guys on a ride that's why i'm wearing this chest rig i'm gonna put a helmet on and we'll cruise around the yard and maybe down the street and that'll be it for this project all right guys i screwed up so i watched a video on how to bypass the governor without actually removing it but every other engine i've done i've actually cracked them open and removed them so what happened somehow the little uh keeper that keeps the this little rod up came out and the rod started dropping down and getting whacked by the crankshaft on the back side there um, and it actually fell down into the engine but it looks like it didn't harm anything so now that i've got this thing open i'm going to do it the way i usually do and i'm going to get in there and actually grab that gear out of there and the little washer that's behind it and then i have to take the gas tank back off and plug the hole where that governor rod goes through so we're gonna do this the right way slap it back together put it back together and then go for a ride
clamp those bars up and go for another ride. All right. Try this again. needs to be loosened up just a little bit more I would call that a success all right that was a long ride that was about three miles up there to the end and back headers smoking a little bit this bike has not seen much actual ride time so I think she's ready to go All right, guys, that's the end of the booger build. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I had a blast building it, and I hope to see it back for some more modifications. I'm thinking front and rear disc brakes, a gas tank, and maybe some different pegs or something like that. But it'd be fun to do a, a, another version of that bike. Uh, Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the videos, and uh, God bless, and we'll see you next time.